Today we're going to talk about how to export transparent backgrounds from Photoshop. So let's get into it. Hello friends, my name is Brendan from BeWillCreative.com and on this channel we love to talk about photography, photo editing, and all that good stuff. So if that sounds like something that you would be into, make sure to hit that subscribe button so you never miss a video. So today we'll talk about how to export any photo with a transparent background from Photoshop. Whether you want to export a graphic or a cutout version of your image, the exact same steps will apply and it just requires you to export as a PNG file. Now for the example that we'll be using today, we'll be working with an actual image so I'll share an easy way that you can cut out a photo relatively quickly. And then after that, we'll talk about how to save as a PNG file and then compare the difference between a JPEG export and a PNG export. Once all that's wrapped up, you'll have a super solid understanding of exporting transparent backgrounds. So let's hop into Photoshop and see how it all works. So the image that I want to export with a transparent background is this little plant here. But the problem is I can't export this image with a transparent background before I cut out the photo. So what I need to do first is make a selection around this plant to cut it out and remove the background. Now there are a ton of different ways that you can remove backgrounds in Photoshop and I share some of the easiest ways to do it in a previous tutorial that I shared down in the description below. However, for this example, I'll be using one of the most simple methods for removing backgrounds and that is with the remove background button. So with the image layer selected and unlocked, we're gonna go up to our properties panel and if you don't see the properties panel, you can find it by going to Windows and down here to Properties. Once you're in that panel, you'll find the Quick Actions and then a Remove Background button. So with that layer selected, we'll hit the Remove Background button. Photoshop will work its magic and remove the background around our plant or whatever subject you have in your photo. Now that we have a nice cutout, you notice that we have these checkerboards behind our photo and that represents transparency. Now at this point, within the terms of our project, our layer has a transparent background. So as you see, it doesn't have anything that's attached to it, it just moves by itself. It's only that plant is visible on this layer. However, when you go to export it as a JPEG file, here's the problem that you will have. In this other project, I've exported a JPEG version of this exact image already, and this is what happened. If I turn this on, Notice how our background is just white. It's not the initial white background that we had, it's just completely white. And that's because since we exported as a JPEG, it didn't save that transparency that we're looking for. So that means that we need to export as a PNG file. So whenever you see these checkerboards on your photo and you want to maintain that transparency, remember to always export as a PNG, otherwise this will not be saved with your export. So. To export your photo, all you have to do is go to File and down to Save As. And then from your Save As menu, you can set whatever file name you would like right here. Of course, you can also choose the location on your computer, but then the most important step here is going to the format option and changing this to PNG right here. Your file extension will then save to PNG, and then we can go ahead and click save on our image. Now, I've already gone ahead and done this already, so I'm gonna bring it into this same project. Opening this PNG image in our other project, you can now see that that transparency has been saved with our little plant. So that means that I can move this around freely in my new document without the worry of that previous background that we used to struggle with with our JPEG export right here. So comparing the two like so, you can clearly see how this one was not cut out, that transparency was not preserved. Well, this one has all that transparency saved, a part of the file because it is a PNG. So again, that's the difference between a PNG file and a JPEG file. So whenever you wanna save that transparency, just remember PNG. So it really is as simple as that. Whether you're wanting to save graphics, cut out an image, or whatever else you would like to export with a transparent background from Photoshop, all you have to do is save as a PNG by going to File, Save As, and change the format to PNG. Now, if you're struggling to get that perfect cutout around an image, then make sure to check out one of my other tutorials where I go in depth and talk about some of my favorite background removal and cutting out options in Photoshop. Anyways, if you enjoyed this tutorial and it helped you get that transparent background, then make sure to hit that like button as it really does make a difference. And also consider subscribing to stay up to date with more tutorials just like today. With that, my name is Brendan from BeWillCreative.com and I'll catch you back here next time for another new tutorial. See you then. Thank you.